Staten Island real estate is the topic today. Today we're talking about what the Staten Island housing market is doing. Are the prices going up, down? Are we getting more inventory or not? So let's get right to it. I'll do that summary for the entire Staten Island and then we'll go into different sections. From time to time, you find opportunities in the information that I share with you from our multiple listing service where the data is accurate. So let's dive right to it. So existing home sales are falling down by 3.4% nationwide. So let's see, new listings on Staten Island actually decreased again. It is now 28.4% less and it's only 461 units. The pending sales were also down by 10.4% to only 369 sales. The inventory levels fell down by 27.8% and we only have 1,221 homes on the market. That's including homes that have an accepted offer. So a percentage of those homes are no longer available if they actually go to contract and close. So the prices continue to gain traction. The median sale price increased two percent believe it or not right to now six hundred and fifty thousand dollars is the median sale price on staten island the days on the market though went up to 56.4 percent and it is now 92 days for a house to get a contract sellers were encouraged as month supply of inventory was down one and a half percent to 3.9 months of inventory. If you remember, I always explained to you that in order for the market to start showing signs that it's becoming a buyer's market, the month supply is going to be somewhere around close to six months supply. We're only a 3.9 month supply, so we're not there at all. If your credit score is between 700 and 720, the interest rates right now are somewhere close to 7.5%, but it's still expensive, you know? The year-over-year -year change in closed sales is down by 15.6%, and the one-year change in median sale price overall in Staten Island is still up within a year by 2%. The inventory, though, is down, like it's down by 27.8%, so we're getting less and less homes on the market. So let's dive in into the different sections of Staten Island. As always, we start with the East Shore, and the East Shore includes data from Arocar, Grasmere, Old Town, South Beach, Dungan Hills, Dungan Hills, Below Boulevard, Grand City, and Midland Beach. So the year-over-year -year change in new listings is down 17%. And the year-over-year -year change in closed sales is down 27.8%. And the one-year change in median sale price is still up by 1.5%. So let's just compare the last three months from last year of 2022 to end this year of 2023. And that's going to be the median sale price in the East Shore, $665,000 for the last three months, right? So we are in June. That means March through June 22nd, the median sale price was $665,000. Do you think it's up or down? This year, comparing same period of time, it is up and the median sale price is $675,000. And now let's jump into Gateway, includes New Dorp, Oakwood, Oakwood Beach, Oakwood Heights, Bay Terrace, Great Kills, and Eltingville. Year-over-year -year change in new listings is 29.3% lower, less homes on the market. Year-over-year -year change in closed sales, 30.4% less. And then one year change in median sale price within a year is zero. So that's like flat line. Okay, so the median sale price in the gateway, the last three months, March to June of 2022, 
was 675,000. And obviously, since we have a zero change, it is the same 675,000 for March through April of 2023. No change there. Let's jump into Greater St. George section includes Fort Wadsworth, Concord, Shore Acres, Rosebank, Clifton, Stapleton, Tompkinsville, St. George, Ward Hill, Park Hill, and Grimes Hill. A year-over-year -year change in new listings is 21.1% less inventory in the market. Year-over-year -year change in closed sales is less 27.9%. And the year-over-year -year change in median sale price is actually 10% decrease from March through June of 2022. It was 550,000 and then is 495,000. So there you are. If you are waiting for prices to slightly come down before you pull the trigger on buying a house, there's your opportunity in those neighborhoods. And now let's jump to Heartland. Heartland is always interesting in heartland we have the willowbrook the manor heights neighborhood bulls head new springville heartland village travis and Ladorette. and year over year change in new listings is less by 17 percent year over year changed in closed sales so 20 percent less homes and then year over year change in median sale price is reduction of 15.5 seven percent here's another area for you guys to consider so the median sale price march through june of 2022 664,000, and then this year it is 560,000. let us go and visit the north shore we're going to be looking at the data from new brighton snug harbor livingston randall manor West Brighton, Port Richmond, Mariner Harbor, Graniteville, Arlington, Bloomfield, and Elm Park. Well, let's check out what's going on. So year-over-year -year change in new listings, the inventory shrunk by 33.3%, one-third less inventory than last year. Year-over-year -year change in closed sales is 32.3%. And the year-over-year -year change in median sale price in the North Shore went down by 1.9%, makes that a median sale price March till June of 2022 was 520000 Same period this year is 510000 So now we're getting a lot more opportunities in different areas. And then the South Shore, which is always, always interesting, right? So year-over-year -year change in new listings, almost a third less listings, 32.1% less. Year-over-year -year change in closed sales is almost 36%, 35.9% less. And year-over-year -year and median sale price increased by 2.7%. So last year, the median sale price was 681000 and this year from March to June, it is now 700,000. South Shore is keeping strong so far. And then let's do the hills. The hills, I always remind you the prices in the hills and the size of the properties and the homes are extraordinary. And therefore the numbers there are a little bit different. So let's see how they are doing. Year-over-year -year change in the new listings are 30% less new homes are being offered for sale. 16.7% less homes are being actually sold. And then the change in the median sale price is 4.4% less than what it was in a period of a year. So the median sale price March to June of 22 is 967,000. And then March through June of 2023 is 925,000. And now we'll check out the lakes. The lakes will include neighborhoods of Westerly, Sunset Hill, Sunnyside, Royal Oak, Silver Lake, Clove Lakes, and Castleton Corner. The year-over-year -year change in new listings is 40.3% less homes are being listed for sale. And then 23.9% less homes are being actually sold. And then uh, the median sale price increased 
5.4% makes that a median sale price March to June of 2022 was 627,000 compared to March through June of 2022, 631,000. The interest rates, you know, they're seven and a half percent and there's some dents here and there. We could say that there's indication that things are changing. We don't know for sure yet. The matter of the available homes on the market is still very low. So we don't really know how is that going to play out. Uh, but one thing I'm going to tell you, if they're going to drop the interest rate significantly, there's going to be a whole pivot again into multiple offers everywhere. And multiple offers always drive the price up. We shall see what's going to happen. I don't see any fear. I think that a lot of the change in the price in several of the sections on Staten Island that we looked at and we saw that there some reduction in the median sale price from the same period last year and this year. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that people are still trying to get list at a higher price, just not really aware of the market conditions and not taking into account the number of buyers who no longer can afford those prices and qualifying for a much higher interest rate. So we shall watch and we shall see. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss another market update. And I will see you on the next video. Talk to you soon.